and gentlemen of Jerusalem, welcome. I'd like to introduce you to the man who has all the answers in these uh, troubled times. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Jesus Trump. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> my advisor has informed me that many of you do not like my method of teaching, that many of my parables are going over your heads. Well, I'm here today to get straight to the point. There has been some arguing amongst my apprentices, I mean disciples, <laughs> about what exactly my plan is. Believe me, I have a plan, and I will reveal that plan when the time comes. <laughs> and it's going to be huge. <laughs> Most of you wouldn't understand my plan even if I told you, because frankly, many of you are really dumb. <laughs> I was talking to this man the other day. He said to me, Jesus, what must I do to be born again? Like I said, really dumb. <laughs> I know that many of you have been clamoring for a leader like Moses. Look, Moses is great. Moses is a hero. I just like my heroes who don't die before they get to the promised land. Just <laughs> I'd be happy to take any questions that you may have. Uh, I noticed that you do not have any women among your disciples. Do you not see them as worthy? I was talking to this woman at a well recently. She was complaining to me about how she had blood coming out of her eyes, blood coming out of her wherever. <laughs> <laughs> I think she had leprosy or something. And, and did you heal her? No, and I'll tell you why. She was asking me these gotcha questions about how to get into heaven. I did not appreciate that. She was being ungrateful. I had to remind her that when I fed those people in Galilee with the fishes and the loaves, I'm sure you remember, that I did it efficiently. And I gotta say, I did it better than anyone in history could have done it. I mean, that crowd of people was really, really huge. What did the teachers of old mean when they said, love your neighbor and hate your enemy? This seems like a false teaching. Um, do they really mean for us to hate our enemy? Actually, I agree with this. No change is needed. <laughs> Look, I love people. I do. And people love me. But get on my bad side, and I will destroy you. <laughs> I can send you straight to hell. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> but I thought you came to protect us. I did. And that's why we need to build that wall. <laughs> and we're going to get the Samaritans to do it. <laughs> Look, the Samaritans aren't sending their best people. Sure, some of them are good people. But most of them are bringing crime. They're bringing drugs. They're rapists. But that's okay. Blessed are the poor in spirit. I mean, look at me. Spiritually, I'm bankrupt. <laughs> But you know how I got where I am today? It wasn't easy. Sure, I may have received from my father a small loan of divinity, <laughs> but I still had to pull myself up by the sandal straps to get the job done. Sometimes you're a little impatient with people. How does this fit with what you said, uh, do unto others as you would have them do unto you? Yeah, yeah. Let me step in here, I'll handle this one. Listen, this man, changed my life. My name used to be Simon, now it's Peter, so he literally changed my life. <laughs> Trump is kind, Trump is patient, Trump does not boast. Any of you who think otherwise, you're stupid, and you're just taking this man's words and twisting them out of context and... Okay, okay, thank you, Peter. <laughs> you shall be truly blessed. In fact, Here's what I'm going to do for you. I'm going to build a tower in heaven. I'm going to put my name on it. <laughs> but I'm going to let you decide who gets in and who doesn't. Finally, before I go, I have one more rumor to address. 
Many have been saying that my apprentice Judas is going to betray me. Well, Judas, I have two words for you. You're fired. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Jerusalem that Trump has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. <laughs>